Hello there and welcome to Python Tutorials. In this tutorial I'd like to teach you about string interpolation. What is string interpolation? String interpolation is basically when you can uh, implant values into a string on the fly. So if you recall when we made that program Hello World, we, we told the Python to print Hello World onto the screen. What if we wanted to make a program where we say hello blank and blank is equal to the the name of the person that uses that is using your program at the moment now we don't want to have to write a new program for every person who uses your program so what we do what we use is string interpolation and we're going to go over this right now so the first thing we want to do as always is open up the idle interpreter Okay. Now we need to create a variable. Uh, we're going to call this one name, and that's going to hold the name of the person using the program. So let's say that person is me. We'll put my YouTube account name, and now name should be equal to. JAA228 and it is. Now we say print hello. I'm going to show you what we're not going to do first. <laughs> Instead of doing this and having to write this for every person who uses your program, instead we can do this. We do percent %s and I believe that s stands for string. I'm not 100% sure on that. And remember in Hello World, I finished off this this Hello World with an exclamation point, so I'll put that in there. End the quotes. Then we put a percent, and we put the name of the variable, which is name in this case, after the percent. And when I press enter, it should say, hello, my name, exclamation point. And that's exactly what we get. Hello, JAA228 exclamation point. And you notice it replaced this percent %s right here with the va with the value that was stored in name, which is JAA228. Okay, let's say you wanted to put a number in into a string. So let's say we wrote a program that calculated the number of apples picked today by a group of people. The first thing we need to do is create a variable to hold the information. So we'll call this variable number. And we're going to store uh, 26. Let's say there were 26 apples picked today. All right, and let's just make sure that the value is in there. It is. Now we're going to say print. There were. Now for numbers, you got to put percent %d. There were percent %d apples picked today and then we do percent number which is the name of the variable that has the value in it that we need to plug into this sentence so when I press enter it tells me there were 26 apples picked today now let's say you wanted to put more than one value or variable into your sentence or your your string what you need to do is you need to make a list at the end so let's say we wanted to put these two sentences that we made together into one so we're gonna say hello percent s <laughs> uh, there were percent d apples picked today Now what we do is we do percent and then we put the values in the order that they're going to appear in the sentence in these in the parentheses here. So we do parentheses and then we do uh the first value is going to be name. Then we separate it with a comma and we put the second value which is going to be number and then we close the parentheses and when I hit enter which I'm going to do right now we get 
the values were properly plugged in. So this percent %s turned into the name, or the value that was stored in name, and this percent %d turned into the value that was stored in number. And it says, hello, JAA228. There were 26 apples picked today. Okay, that's the tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video. I always appreciate your comments and constructive feedback. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.